Also, it's not necessary <laughs> to listen to all the beautiful things about cakes and candies and never eat it. <laughs> now, if we go a little bit beyond this level to the second level, what we call second, just for the sake of a simplifying matter, the second level, then we will probably uh, have a lot more abilities than the first one, including the miracles. But the most striking um, achievement we can have in the second level is the eloquence and the ability to debate. <laughs> and no one seems to be able to conquer the person who has achieved the second level because he has tremendous power of eloquence and his intellect is at the peak of his power. Most of the people who has ordinary mind, a very simple IQ, <laughs> cannot match this person because his IQ has opened to a very high degree. But it is not only the physical brain that has been uh, developed more. It is the mystical power. It is the heavenly power, the wisdom that is inherent inside us now begin to open. Hmm. In India, people call this level buddhi, means intellectual level. And when you uh, achieve buddhi, you become a Buddha. Hmm? That's what the word Buddha came from, buddhi and Buddha. Hmm. No, so the Buddha is precisely just that. <laughs> so most of the people call an enlightened person a Buddha. If he doesn't know beyond the second level, he would probably feel very proud about it. But actually, if he only achieved the second level, which he can see through the past, present, and future of any person he chooses to see, and if he has, in which he has an absolute eloquence of speech, then it's not yet the end of the kingdom of God. And any person should not be proud of this ability of reading into the past, present, and future, because that is the Akashic record. What do you know in the Western terminology? <laughs> All of you who practice yogas or some kind of meditation would understand Akashic record, which is a kind of library, like the one we have next door in the UN with all kinds of languages in it. <laughs> you see, Arabic, Russian, Chinese, <laughs> English, and French, German, everything in your library next door, all kinds of languages. And should you have the ability to read all these languages, you know what's going on in that country. Understand? So similarly, the one who has access to the second level, he would understand. He can interpret a pattern of a person very clearly, the way you see your own biography. Mm. There are much more to be gained from the second level of uh, consciousness. But when one reaches the second level, it is already fantastic, already a living Buddha, yes, because you have opened the body, the intellect. And we know many things, many things that we could not name and every so-called miracles would happen to us, whether we want it or not, because our intellect just open and just know how to contact the higher source of healing, of arranging, so that our life would become smoother yeah, and better. And our intellect, our buddhi, has opened so that it can have access to all the information necessary from the past and from the present in order to arrange and to kind of rearrange or kind of make up for something we did wrong in the past, in the sense, so that to correct the mistake and then to make our life better. Therefore, what I have explained to you is very scientific <laughs> and very logical. And no need to think that uh, a yogi 
or a meditation person. It's some kind of a mystical person or an extraterrestrial. They are terrestrial beings, like any one of us, who are developed because they know how. So this is a kind of beyond this world science in which we could learn also. And it sounds very strange, but the higher the things, the more simple. Within the second level, there are many levels too, huh? But I just make it brief because I cannot be detailed. All the secret of heaven. Yeah. Anyhow, you will know all this also when you travel along with a master who has already traveled. Yes. So it's no secret. But then we have the knowledge of the other world at the same time. You understand? Because we travel. Just like you are an American citizen, or you are any other citizens of the world, but then you travel from one country to another just to know what the neighbor country looks like. And I guess many of you in the United Nations are not Native Americans, no? So you know now, the same thing. We can travel to the next planets or the next level of uh, life in order to understand. Because the distance is so great, so we cannot walk, we cannot take a rocket, and we cannot take even a UFO. Some worlds are longer than UFOs could fly. Now there are a facility within us which is faster than any UFO can comply. This is our own soul. We call spirit sometimes. And we can fly with these without any poor, without any police uh, traffic jam or anything at all. Just like when we drive the car, we must know the law of the traffic. Yeah, red light, you stop. Green light, we go. The drive left on the dry exit, etc. Highway, how much speed? Yes. So there are some very simple law in the universe, in the physical universe, beyond our world, beyond this physical universe. There's no law, no law at all. We are free, free citizen. But we have to get beyond that in order to be free. And as long as we still live in this world, in a physical body, we should as much as possible to keep within the law so we don't get into trouble. So these laws have been written in the Bible, of your Christian Bible, and in the Buddhist Bible, or in the Hindu Bible. The very simple one, like we don't harm the neighbors, we don't kill, eh? thou shalt not kill, and then not uh, commit uh, outside <laughs> loving relationship, and not uh, stealing, etc., huh? and not uh, taking intoxicant. Mm. That's uh, included the drugs today. The drug is included all kind of gambling and anything that make our mind attached to the physical pleasure and forgot the spiritual journey. If we want to fly fast, high, and without danger, these are physical law, just like the law of physics. When a rocket wants to fly, the scientists had to observe certain law. So therefore, our body is very precious because within it sits the Master. That's why in the Bible it is say, Know you not that you are the temple of God, and Almighty God dwells within you, the Holy Spirit, the same, same thing. Mm. But many people read this fast but do not understand, do not realize the greatness of this sentence and do not try to find out. Apart from our everyday struggle and money earning and all these physical problems, we have more beauty, more freedom, more knowledge within. And should we know the proper way to contact this this is all ours, because we have them inside. It's just because we don't know where the key is, and we locked this house for a long time, and now we've forgotten that we have this treasure, that's all. So the so-called Master is the one who can help us to open the door and show us what is originally already belonged to us. So after the second, you may have more power if you are determined 